this tournament Akuma. Okay, so we're going to do some Akuma. I really like Tekken 7 Akuma. I know it's basically like, he just has the moveset really from like, Street Fighter 4 Akuma? I'm trying to think if there's anything he misses. Does he have the air throw? I was... Oh. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Why? Why does she cry? Oh. Oh. I just knee her in the face. Oh. <laughs> she kicked me in my cankles. Let me just... Uh, just try and get the hand to go for like normals and stuff. Okay. One, two, Badouken. Missed. Missed. Fucked. <laughs> oh, I got wrecked. I'm trying to remember if from the the demon flip you can do the the air throw in this, or if that's like they couldn't do that in this game. I don't know. The annoying thing about this version of Akuma is I play him while I'm playing Tekken and I'm like, yeah, now I want to play Street Fighter V Akuma, and then I load that up and I'm like, oh, he's great, he's awesome, but like, oh, they they busted this game well open, so it's just really unfun. Ishun Sengeki. Mesuts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fun fact about uh, further, I feel rage arts are busted. You can do the raging demon with the normal, like the standard input, and it's designed to be complicated so that, like, you know, you can't just like unless you're pretty good, reliably pull it out. Oh, you know, you actually have to train to get the input because it's like a combo of buttons that you have to do quickly like light punch light punch forward something heavy punch i'm sure it's a kick like medium kick heavy punch or something I, i've forgotten in my brain i just do it on the fly with my like hands like da -da 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 -da. and like you just have to train yourself to be able to do that except in tekken because rage arts you can just press the r1 button you can just raging demon with an r1 <laughs> which is just I don't do that because <laughs> like, it feels busted as all shit <laughs> and it's like just gonna encourage me to forget the combo for Street Fighter but like um yeah why does he get a motorbike and I don't I will steal your motorbike sir Akuma's here for your motorbike oh no shit <laughs> Okay, I'm just falling for dumb shit. Hang on, let me just... There. No. Fuck. This is really disjointed and awkward. Hang on. Demon flipping everywhere. Oh. Hey, I'm trying to learn my air Hadouken motion. Shh. Go away. Like, yeah, like Akuma in Street Fighter V is really fun. And then if you play like uh, the game, the, those load times, like people complain about a lot of stuff, like they made the inputs too easy, they sim oversimplified some characters to the point of like they're boring to play because there's only so many things you can do and etc. etc. Uh, and like it's too aiming at a casual audience. <laughs> oh, jeez. But like for me, it's just that I can't play the game and it be quick, which is like one of the stupidest things of a modern era fighting game. I can't think of anything stupider than being like, how fast is it until I can get into a game? Oh, it is like 10 minutes of it loading, applying title updates, complaining that you're not on the internet, uh, then demanding you go on the internet. Again. <laughs> yeah! They give you a lot of bar in this. 
and just strain to go shore you. And like, I shouldn't just spend my whole time complaining about Street Fighter V. It does have redeeming qualities, especially now later that it's been like updated about six or seven times. Like, my complaints mostly are complaints from when it was released and like season two to three. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Went for low kick, I went for... oh, okay. What martial art is he supposed to be representing? I forget. Oh well. I just love how that guy got um, completely like, I've already forgotten his name, he got completely snubbed in like the story mode, he exists for one fight against Heihachi, and then he's like, fine I'll join you, and then does nothing of use for the rest of the story. Like his whole point is that he will help him find the demon, but like, and like, help him get rid of the demon in Kazuya, but then does nothing. And he already knows where Kazuya is, so it's just like, what was the point in this? Again. I feel like I'm using this too much. But it's such a cool move. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, let's let's get on to doing some more stuffs. Yeah, it's just uh what was I saying? Yeah, that guy gets. I forgot his name. Is it Lucy? I want to say Lucy something. Lucien? Lucio? No, I'm wrong. Oh. No. I'm fighting the character I don't like fighting. Jesus, she does. Oh, it's double damage. Just, okay. Yeah, see, I did half a health bar with a single throw. I don't know why I'm fighting her like this, I could just hit her tokens a hundred- there you go. Because <laughs> it's double damage. Other than that's cheesy bullshit. Yeah, I do love that you can kind of like, you can see a little more easily in Tekken when he does the Shoryuken that is interrupting moves with longer start because the characters are moving into the position and he's just interrupting them with a Shoryuken. You can see it really clearly, I like that. Oh, Noctis. I don't even have Noctis. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, so like uh, Street Fighter V Akuma is actually really good fun. It's just... Uh, yeah, like, he was one of the first characters that actually came back into the game, and I was like, oh, good, they made him fun, and he actually has some stuff that makes me want to not just play the, f you know, because if it was exactly the same as Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 4 again, you would just be sat there like, there's nothing stopping me from playing what is still, at this point, sadly, a better game. Like, you know, if it was exactly the same, luckily they added stuff, they made him, like, different, they added, like, stuff that he does, like, you know, and, like, there's some pretty cool use of the V-triggers in that. Shame they still fucking ruined Jury, and I will never stop saying that they ruined Jury, because they fucking did. <laughs> like... But perhaps she was just too busted in 4 and that's why I liked her, you know. It's like, I like Adon as well and Adon doesn't get any love and I'm starting to think it's because he flies around the screen too much and he's just, you know, super busted and stuff. And people don't know how to handle it. Yeah. Got her as she got up. 
You should <laughs> Kramer, what's what's that light coming from your door? Oh, that is the raging demon, Jerry. Now I have to Ishun Sengeki Masats. <laughs> yeah, busted meme. Oh, I can put a car on his head. Awesome. This is the power of Akuma. Car on the head. <laughs> I should make a goofy outfit for Akuma. It'll be funny. Why? Also, her tongue is super weird. Oh man, I hate it when they do that, you know, like... Well, first of all, I just find that stuff really boring now. As you get older, the more you realize that, oh jeez, this is just creepy and weird. And like, before I would just ignore it, right? Like, but now I'm just like, oh, it's just making me uncomfortable nowadays. But like... I hate it when people don't animate tongues properly and they just look like tiny pink slugs. Like, ugh. Why is her. Why did she look like that? Oh, no. Yeah. Don't want to rely on my raging demon shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Smack. Counter throws. People who actually watch my content, all none of you, uh, <laughs> might notice that when I block stuff and I feel like I have an opening, I go straight into throwing people. I did it in Ninja Garden 2 all the time, which is just like, oh, I blocked you and now you're like reeling back straight into throw. And it's like, it's, it's served me quite well, but it's not actually as like reliable as you would want to believe. And I don't know why I do it. Like, I really don't know why I do it. It's just a habit that has become the thing. Like, I will punish with a throw, and it's, like, really predictable because I always do it, almost always, when I recognize I've blocked you and you've now staggered from a heavy. Uh, I automatically go straight into, like... What the hell was that? Was that a root vegetable? I just go straight into, like, throwing you on reaction. So, yeah, that's... That's bad. <laughs> It's you again. Round one. Fight. Ow. Ow. Oh, there we go. Yeah, shokunuts. I can't tell you how much I love Akuma, but like I don't play him a lot <laughs> because uh, I feel like, you know, he's known as the busted boss character and I feel bad for always picking those guys, <laughs> so it's a shame. He's now become much more of a standard just Shoto character that can exist within like the meta without everyone whining about it, Like, but like I still feel bad. It feels like unfair sometimes, but other times I'm still getting wrecked, let's be fair. It's like the only Shoto I regularly play. I tried to play Ken for a bit. But, you know, and I've tried Dan and I've tried Ryu, of course, everyone's tried Ryu, but like, uh, yeah, I don't really dig those guys. I think it's only. It's only because the Raging Demon is sick. But also some of his normals are super sick too. I can put a cake on his head too now, great. <laughs> Man, Akuma appreciation. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, Yeah, so in 5e is really fun, like I really like what they did with the Raging Demon uh, animation as well, and I like the additional stuff they give him, uh, and that recognition that some of the what-if characters in 4 uh, have some really neat stuff like Evil Ryu's uh, Shoryuken sure that comes back down on you as well, like I love that shit, it's really cool. Like add new tech, make shit look cool. <laughs> Yeah. 
If you could raging demon a human being in real life, you would. Don't fight it. Point blank shock notes, that's ballsy. Haha. <laughs> Swept bitch. Oh. The, the throw range is a little like closer than I would imagine each time, so I tend to do it at two wider there we go. Surprised that didn't knock you off. Okay. Oh shit. Am I gonna have to Ugh. I got full bars on everything. Oh, it's fine. He's like, ah, my knee. <laughs> Colorful hair. Yay. We'll see how many more we can get. Like, to be honest, like, I'm just playing until I, I get a loss. That tends to be my thing. So we'll see how many more we can get. I'm kind of doing this at the time. I'm eating a load of fried chicken because oh, that's a whole story. I like ordered a bucket of chicken, but uh, it's uh, Lunar New Year here, and for some reason the KFCs decide you can't just order normal things like just a standard bargain bucket or just a standard whatever, like you know, say like a meal set. You have to order either individual pieces of chicken or like this massive family size bucket and like I was like fine I'll order the family size bucket with all the hamburgers and the five drinks and all of that shit it doesn't matter to me and you really always look weird to me and like to be honest I ate a buttload of chicken and played a uh, Akuma and it meant that my hands were kind of slippy and like <laughs> buttery <laughs> like uh, greasy it was not not a good time and I felt like shit afterwards. I didn't eat all of it by the way, I like gave a lot of the food away, I just wanted the bucket and then I didn't even eat the whole bucket so... <clears throat> just a bad plan overall. But you know I had some fried chicken cravings and KFC is very good at like making you regret having fried chicken cravings because it's never a good time it's always just an okay time that you feel bad afterwards Should just make my own fried chicken next time i need to order some actually what am i talking about let's look at this i always get confused with gonryu because he doesn't stagger the way i expect him to and it's harder to interrupt him he seems like they've replicated that well good got him Final round. Comes down to this. He moves forward a lot when he fights. Uh. <laughs> Just took that to the face and didn't give a shit. He's just slapping me again and again and I'm just falling for it again and again. <laughs> This E Honda shit. Oh no! He's got no. Oh my god! <laughs> Gun Ryu. Meanie. Oh. 